Hello and welcome to the Archie Luxury Program. Today I'd like to revisit a very popular episode which was uh, Luxury Scrapyard. And uh, I've gone down to our local luxury scrapyard and I've taken some, some still shots this time. And uh, I want to look at some of these, these wonderful cars that are um, on the scrapper. And uh, it's quite quite sad when you when you look at some of these these cars here that are uh, under 20 years old, and you think about, geez, they uh, they would have been proudly presented in the showroom. They would have been uh, absolute wonderful um, prestige vehicles. They would have been a trophy purchase. And uh, it's so sad to see them not so long later in a scrapyard with bits being salvaged from them. And uh, I suppose that's how uh, life goes in many ways. These luxury, super luxury items, they have a limited time, a limited market. And uh, when they become too costly to, uh, to run and uh, repair, they're, uh, they're often scrapped. And um, it's it's kind of uh, it's kind of strange looking at these these scrapyards, but it's it's kind of like looking at an auto accident. I mean, you, you you sort of you look at this the accident. You don't want to look, but you just can't help yourself having a look at the the wreckage and the carnage. And um, I think some of these these photos here really tell a story. If only these cars could talk. It uh, it's kind of sad to see them in the uh, the scrapyard here, but let's let's have a look at a few of them, and we'll we'll, we'll see if we can uh, work out what's what's gone wrong here. So uh, let's let's start off by looking around the yard, and uh, one one car that we we've seen here is a uh, this is a this would be a late nineties, early two thousand. Type 7 series. It's in my favourite metallic -y dark blue and I, I think this would be an absolute, um, it would have been a, a pearler of a car in its day. I mean you would have fucking, you would have arrived if you turned up in this 730i, which uh, the 730i that came out with a V8 engine, so it was a small V8 and um, wonderfully appointed car wonderful little uh, limousine and um, it's so sad to see the 730i in the the scrapyard here but um, yep that's 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 how it goes and um, having having a look at this uh, 730i you can you can um, you can see the engine's been pulled out so it's possibly had a, a front end smack some sort of damage there and um, these these seven series. This is this is the model which, uh, when they they relaunched the uh, Heart to Heart series on TV, they 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 the Hearts drove a seven series. So this is the same same model as that there. And I think these are the most beautiful seven series that have ever been made. And um, those horrible bangle designed uh, seven series that we're stuck with now these these are the that this is the last decent seven series and i think it's probably the best looking seven series um that was done there let's have a bit more of a uh, a look around the scrapyard and and here we have it we have a uh, an older this is like a uh, the, the this is a i think it's an e32 seven series and these came out in the uh these came out in the late 80s, and 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 they they were replaced by the, the that 730 shape. And um, so this is here is a is a, is is an E32 7 series, and these were big fucking money. They, these were never cheap. They, these were uh, big money, highly complicated car. And um, I I had a friend of mine who had a. Uh, who had one of these seven series and they were fucking expensive to run very dear to run and um unfortunately that's often been the death of them because the repairs are so dear and they they are they are so complicated they're not something that you can easily um repair and eventually they just make their way into the scrapyard because they're too expensive they're uneconomical to run so um that's a that's a uh, a sad story there. Let's having a look around. Oh my God! Here's a I think it's a W140, and it's a is that an S500 or an S600? Let's have a look there. Uh, oh, it's it's an S600. Fuck! This is the the V12 S class, and this is a W140. So these came out in 1992, and they they uh this was the W140 series. They they lasted sort of almost 10 years 
And uh, this would have been one fucking expensive motor car, a W140 S600. So this here looks like it's the uh, the later. It's it's, it's probably the the. Um, it's not the original version. This is the the uh, the revised version because it doesn't have the uh, the parking sticks on the end there. And um, yeah, what an expensive car! Uh, probably what's happened to this 600 is the the um, the depreciation. The depreciation means that this car is worth absolutely nothing. And uh, the Italiano answer to solving the 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 balloon payment. Uh, we we get somebody to torch the bastard. And uh, that's probably what's happened there. It's had the uh, the Italian insurance claim. That's what it is because it 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 uh, it wouldn't have been the Mercedes electrics that would have caused this fucker to burn. And um, it's very sad to see this in in a, in a scrapyard, an S six hundred. What a a proud uh, motor vehicle. This would have been a very very expensive car in its day. A S six hundred, a V twelve Mercedes Benz S class. I mean, fuck. Could you get anything better? I mean, you would have been at the peak of the tree. To, uh, to to have ordered this sort of car, and uh, it's really sad to see it in a um, a scrapyard like this here now. But um, yep, that's what happens when uh, repairs become uneconomical, and it's just it's worth absolutely nothing. Let's have a bit more of a look around here, and we've got a we've got an A class Mercedes. These 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 A class Mercedes are. Uh, I've never really been much of a fan of them. I thought they were overrated, so that's that, that doesn't matter. Oh, I can see an Alfa Romeo. There we go, an Alfa Romeo 156. And um, that, that that would be like the, the, the Alfa 156 that came out in 98, 99. So, you know, they, they, they wouldn't be that that old that car there it's probably had it you know like a lot of these european cars they they get to a stage where they have a repair that comes up that is more expensive than the car's worth say the transmission goes its transmission might be seven or eight thousand and um the car itself is only worth sort of ten thousand that's often what happens to these luxury cars and uh with alphas you certainly would um you have a lot of problems mechanically with them so that's that's probably why it's ended up in this this scrapyard here and uh what other what other interesting cars can we see i can see a uh, a unos that's that doesn't seem sorry a uh a lexus a lexus es 300 that looks quite late model that's probably uh we had some some flooding uh, last year, so this is probably a flood damaged ES 300. It's just completely fucked with water, have, have, having gone through it. Uh, it's a bit of a shame to see that that car, a nice car like that. They they were sort of a hundred thousand dollars new, so it's, it's really sad to see that in in this uh, yard here. And let, let's have a look. We've got a um, we've got a, a C a C 180. This is a uh, this, this wouldn't be that old. This is sort of a, around the this is the revised version 2001 i think this model came out and it's it's obviously in the scrapper here it's sad to see that but but that that's the um that's the 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 scrap business with 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 cars they uh they get to a stage where it's not worth repairing so uh they they scrap the fuckers so that that's what's happened here and um has it has an old mercedes benz you don't see many of these this is a 70s benz it, it's probably had water go through it that's why it's probably here and uh yep there you go archie luxury presents the luxury scrapyard i hope you've enjoyed this segment <laughs>